Hi, so today I would like to talk to you about Simas. It's an um, audio player. So I, I just love it. It's really fast, uh, console based, so as if I'm working on Xorg, I can reboot Xorg and I still get my music. Um, but the problem is, it's well, not really convenient to uh, operate. Well, it's console based, so um, I wondered what I could do to improve usability of this um, this player, but I, I wanted something really accessible, and so that's why I wondered uh, if I could use my electronic skills to build a remote control for Seamus, and that's what I did. So basically, it's on here. It's a screen. Yeah, it's um, uh, the Blackberry's um, trackball, two buttons, a joystick, and a screen, and a uh, temperature probe. So let's plug it in. Up. Up. So here it is. So we can see the name is Johnny of the waves mm, on the waves uh, doesn't matter uh, the artist is Arian we can see the progress bar here and we have some actions associated with the buttons under it um, so for instance if I play uh, press pause well the music just stops so that's cool that's what I wanted and also I have several applications like Mm, so I have music, it's this one. System is about the temperatures of your computer. So we can see at the moment the room temperature given by this probe is 27 degrees. And the uh, CPU is at 52 degrees. Oh, the GPU is not used. I just changed my, CPU, uh, my GPU, so that's why it doesn't work. We can check the CPU usage, RAM usage, and so on. It, it's it's handy. Um, so, what else? There are several applications. This is the application panel. Um, only the music and, and system one is working uh, at the moment because, well, it's the only one that really matters. Notify would be an application that would just run uh, when I get an email for instance it could be used as a notification but yeah that didn't work on it yet so as for the music well you can of course change the, the track up so for instance this one And if you wait enough, you can just go back at the beginning of the track by going one left. Or just go fast, doesn't matter. It's really cool. So, how did I build this? Mm. Um, so first, the hardware. So it's based on, I already told you, a screen, uh, the Blackberry trackball. Uh, two buttons and uh, a thumb joystick but if you look inside this is an Arduino um, well some electronics here just it's just uh, for the uh, electric supply and some <laughs> well loads of wires going to the trackball Actually, the trackball. I could change the color, but I haven't worked on it yet. Um, the the Arduino communicates with the screen uh, with a serial communication, and then there is here a pick uh, doing the translation of commands to the uh, well the parallel uh, uh, interface of the screen. And what else? Well, that's that's pretty much it for this. I'm gonna. Put it back again, up, back in place. Mm. 
here it is then we need to see how it communicates with the computer so I'll just here it is I reboot it so it asks for um, host daemon so well what is this it's a program running on this computer um, that um, converts the commands from the um, this device, this, the remote control, and translate it for CMOS, so as it's understandable for CMOS. So I'm just gonna run it. It's a Pyth uh, Python uh, daemon, so I just run it. So it it's good. It, um, shows the application that is currently running and then uh, of course it's this application that takes all the data from um, CMOS and sends it to this uh, remote control otherwise we wouldn't have all the names and so on so that's basically the design mm. yeah uh, it's pretty much it I hope you like it and well, see you later.